The most wanted man in the valley is now back in custody here at the Madison County Jail. Hamad Maman was escorted in shackles into the jail just after 9 o'clock today. He had very little, though, to say to me about what appears to be his failed attempt to flee the country. Were you trying to get to Pakistan? Are you upset about what you've done with your parents? Now they're in trouble. Are you scared about what spending... Uh, the rest of your life in jail is going to mean? Where are you guys trying to go? Hamad? Hamad, do you have anything to anything say? Parents, have you talked to your father? Have you talked to your mother? Anybody? What about your sister, Hamad? And now, the more I learn about this story, the more tragic it becomes. Family members absolutely devastated by the loss. Now, here I have two pictures uh, that the family has provided me. They believe that the littlest boy, Rashad, is one of those victims inside. Here shown with him is his brother, the one that investigators say called uh, family members using his mother's phone, saying that he could not wake his mommy up. Les Holt says he and his company were singled out because they were, quote, making too much money. However, the attorney general and a Madison County judge say Holt was intentionally deceiving customers and profiting off the fear of North Alabama residents. Was it ever your intention to deceive anybody? No. I purposely have never deceived anybody. But the attorney general and a Madison County judge disagree. Tuesday, a judge ruled Leslie Holt and co-owner Grady Holt knowingly and intentionally deceived Tornado Masters customers. Holt insists he was just trying to help people. In this business, I know the rules. I started this business with one thing in mind, and that's to save lives. I didn't start this business to make money. While the self-proclaimed hero says he never intended to make money, he does admit his business certainly was not struggling. Well, I made a lot of money of what I did. I'm one of the best damn salesmen in the country. It was nothing for me to make fifty or hundred thousand dollars in a day. But when I asked him where all that money went, he says he doesn't really know. I was not really on a day-to-day -day basis in the office. In the numbers, right, right, I did. Right, right. I, I signed the paychecks. I, right. I, I'm the old guy. Holt now admits his shelters were never tested. My shelters have not been tested. They've had an engineer look at them and make his calling. The attorney general says Holt led his customers to believe otherwise. Do you feel like you owe any of your customers an apology? I'm 65 years old. I've never tried to hurt anybody. The receiver appointed to handle Tornado Master's claim says he is in the process of investigating all of Holt's assets and pooling the money. He says any customer who wants to make a claim will have to first have their shelter inspected by a structural engineer. For more information on what to do if you bought a Tornado Master's storm shelter, log on to our website at waytv.com. It was a day of patriotism, a changing of the guard for Madison County. God bless Madison County, Alabama, and I'm honored to serve as your chairman. Hundreds lined the streets along the courthouse square, eager to shake the hand of the newly elected county commission chairman. But one young woman waited quietly for her turn, with a very special invitation in hand. The reason I'm alive today helped save, literally kept me alive when we had our car wreck. Seven years ago, Jennifer Fowler and her mother were involved in a horrific car accident. There's no way, really no way she should have survived the wreck. And when fate rolled the dice... Things don't happen by chance. Dale happened to be about a mile down the road and he was the first paramedic on the scene. Jennifer was clinging to life. Our paths crossed that night. I drive up on this car wreck and see her life in the balance. On a day usually reserved for smiles and handshakes, the memory of their encounter all those years ago brought the chairman to tears. And um, to see where she's at today is phenomenal. Jennifer's mother couldn't envision anyone better than her daughter's hero to lead Madison County into the future. We still have our oldest child, and I'll never be able to thank him and the other responders for that. In Madison County, Shay Allen, Way 31 First News.
Well, Way 31's very own Shea Allen made history this evening with the first ever repel down the side of the 12 story Times Building in downtown Huntsville. Quite a drop. Here's a look at her trip over the edge. It's for a good cause. At least that's what I kept telling myself as I geared up for my trip down the side of the historic Huntsville Times Building as part of the YMCA's first ever over the edge event. A gear safety check or two later. I'm ready to go. And after several assurances that this was perfectly safe, I was on my way up to the roof. For the first time ever, I got a literal bird's eye view of downtown Huntsville. And even though it went against my better judgment, I looked down. This is insane. And over I went. Whoa. And down, down, down 125 feet, 12 stories and what felt like a lifetime for a first-time repeller. All right, I'm just going to hang out. <laughs> Pausing midway for a live report for the 5 o'clock news, then continuing down the side an inch at a time. Pausing now and then for a breathtaking view. This is awesome. Once on the ground, I was rewarded for my bravery with applause from the onlookers who had gathered. It isn't every day you see someone walking down the side of a building on your way home from work. That allure of the seemingly death-defying feat is what drew the folks at Heart of the Valley YMCA to the Over the Edge event. And for me, this was likely the first and the last time I'll ever get to say this. From the side of the Huntsville Times building, this is Shay Allen, Way 31 First News.